Hello. I wanted to record the difference between growing food at home where there are very few birds and on the allotments where there's lots of birds stealing our crops. Now this red current, we're lucky to see the odd current on it because the birds just get to everything. The barrels cover part of the bushes on my side of the fence. And when I move a barrel, you can see how much there is behind it. Behind the barrels, that barrel used to be here, and it's absolutely chocker with red currants. And this is how much I harvested from behind the barrel where the birds couldn't reach. These black currants at home are absolutely loaded compared to the ones on the allotment where the birds are left like three. There's quite a lot on here. You can see it's absolutely loaded. So I'll get a, at least a couple of punnets out of these. And this gooseberry bush at home is absolutely loaded. I mean there is tons on it. Considering how, how little I got from the ones that, on the plot, this is going to give me more from this one bush than I got from four on the plot simply because you haven't got masses of birds coming and eating everything. Comparing the currants and gooseberries grown at home with those on the allotments shows what a serious problem birds are on these allotments. There's no chance of getting a decent crop from the allotments without some serious protection. So allotment gardening is harder than home gardening in that respect. I'll tell you a story. When I first got the allotments, I was clearing the ground and close to me was a currant bush and this pigeon came and sat on it and started gobbling up the currants one after the other. And I was only like a metre, metre and a half away. It said I wasn't afraid of me. So I shouted at it to say, Oi, stop eating my currants. And he gave me a dirty look like, what are you on about? These are, this is my food. And uh, stop, stop uh, interfering and turning me off. So I thought, well, this is a cheeky little sod. And I went to the shed, got my camera, brought it out. And it still wasn't afraid of me. It was still busy munching away. And uh, I pointed the camera at it. But as soon as I pressed the button to turn it on, Either it was camera shy or it was the motor of the uh, lens that put it off, so it flew away. But it just goes to show how unafraid they are. And if you leave them to it, they will eat you out of house and home. And maybe once they've had their fill, you might get a little bit. Apologies, I'm trying to do these intros at home to get away from the noise of people and power tools on the allotments and the neighbours start doing works. <laughs> Can't get away from noise. In the next video I'll be putting in supports for the fallen apple tree. So goodbye for now and come back soon.